what is up guys we are back with another video and in this one we are back playing skibbity defense and the only reason why is because i i have to bolt the new clock units that came out with uh basically last week last you know last week's last saturday's update and uh this time we're going to be showcasing the guardian clockmen and the future large clockmen so yeah, I have used these in t in um, in uh, matches before. I'll be honest, pretty sick. Or I mean, honestly, the effects and the the abilities that they do, it's I, I see them, I see them. So here we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna do our usual thing, endless mode, and here we go. Sorry, I cannot help you. Because I'm doing a video right now. Well, I mean, I probably could, depending on what it is. But I just want to just wanna do endless mode so I could, you know, get money faster and easier. And then probably the next one you see, depending on if there is an update before it. If there's no update, then you're going to probably see the next one will probably be the two Titans. Which was like from, what, three updates ago that I still haven't gotten to. I have to start, like, making these, like, new unit videos, like close together or something. Alright, now I put my auto clicker on just to click upgrade all so I can upgrade the farms as the waves go by. Hmm. All right, so now we keep him there. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's gonna—I don't know if that's gonna reach them. Let me let me move this a little more up to there. I uh, have this right here. Yeah, you—you you gonna expand? I should turn down the sound. Let's get that upgraded to there, and let's get. I, in my eyes, this is my favorite new tower with that, with the recent update, is the, the Alliance DJ, like, dude. You guys might be saying I'm glazing the game a lot, and I say it over and over again, the devs deserve so much love on this game, like, like, come on, dude, how do you come up with this shit, like, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, and there goes my computer just dying. So we are going to start with the... I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys don't really want to hear that in the background, so I will lower the sound. We're going to start off with the Guardian Clockman. Now, see, see being a... Okay. Now, as you see, all he really does is... Is he going to be able to... I don't think he's going to be able to do damage in time. Uh, how How far do these... Uh, ooh, oh wait, let me put him, let him let me put him over here. So as you see, he has a hammer. Now I'm gonna put this to one time speed so we can see it. Slamming down, doing some decent damage. Four thousand damage at the start, pretty decent. So we upgrade him again. He gets It's like those things with the sand in it, right? Is that what is that what those things are? That's exactly what that those things are. Um, wait, actually, might, might as well just place him here so you can see all the way around. No! Oh, I'm fucking up already. So now level 2, he does 10,169 damage. Ha! <laughs> 69. So right now, already doing 10,000 damage. Uh, sadly, he cannot hit air. So none of his moves could hit air. So if you want to bring him, of course, obviously, everyone's gonna bring a unit that could hit air. So technically, I will, uh, I will put Gojo back here just to, uh, just to protect us from the flying units. So as you see, he's doing decent damage to this. Look at this, ten thousand each hit, pretty freaking decent, and his attack speed one point sixty five. So now we upgrade him again. Now he's doing 28,000. 
249 damage. Attack speed went down to 1.48. 1. Pretty decent. So he's hitting this guy. As you can look at the damage he's doing. As you can see, pretty decent damage. Wait, you're telling me he can't hit that? Are you fucking serious? This is a flying unit? No, this is not. Whoa. Wait, does Gojo have this covered? Yeah, he does. Let me just upgrade him again just to be safe, you know, we don't, uh... No, we do not want you hitting anything over there. You know what? Let me... Yeah, you'll... I mean, I think you'll be fine. Alright. So, I mean, technically he can't hit those guys, apparently. Um, I have no idea, but he cannot hit these. I did not know that. So, uh, we upgrade him again. You look at the, like, look at the effect on, hold on. The computer's gonna lag a lot. I don't know if you hear, like, a buzz, because there's a fucking fly in this damn house. It's really annoying. And damn people banging on the ceiling, like, damn. Well, banging on their floor, which is our, our ceiling. Like, look at the effects. Might be lagging my game, but, like, look, look how clean this is. Like, look at the effects. So fucking clean. I seen, I seen, you know, toilet tower defense effects with the clock units. They did pretty good, too, because I seen videos on it. So, like, I have to give credit where it's due, and I be seeing some interesting effects on the units. So I gotta give credit to both games. I don't play the other game, but I saw the effects on the towers. I seen what the effects are. So, uh, yeah, so now he's doing 5,600... No, he's doing 56,499 damage. Oh, wait, no, that's his... Hold on, let's... Hold on, let's speed this up so we could get to a unit that he could hit! Alright, so now we slow it down. Oh my god, the lag. No! We can't see what he's doing. Ah! Okay, so we'll be able to see what he's doing when he gets here. Damn fucking... Sorry. Damn flies buzzing in my ear. Seriously? We need our cat to handle this. So as you could... Wait, did he take something and throw it at someone? Oh my god, I can't... I can't the fucking fly distracted me. Distracted me. So now we upgrade him again, and he gets his dual hammers. So now his dual hammers do 56,000... Oh, the same damage. And his hammer, 360. Tw oh, that's doing 225,999 damage. So technically 200 and what? 226, I guess we could say. You're right over here, Gojo. You struggling? No, you seem to you seem to be handling stuff. I'll let you do you. Um, so I'm gonna just put another one of this just to be safe, because I don't want to die. Oh my god, the lag is insane. It's just, can we be honest, like, like the games with full graphics look so fucking beautiful than when you have all the graphics down. Like, look at this game with full graphics, like, look how, look how good this is. Look how good the effects on the towers are. And then you put it all the way down, look how ugly it looks. It just doesn't look that, like... In my eyes, it doesn't look that good. But anyways. So can something come out that... Oh! Oh, there he goes. Look at that. He just did his hammer 360. And look at the, look at the damage he just did. Hold on. Do it again? Look at that! He just did... Oh, he almost literally one-shotted the G-Man. That is insane. So now, we move on to the main man himself. The man from the future. The future clockman. Now look at this motherfucker. He's floating and shit. So now what he all he really does is wait, do I have hold on. Uh particles. Alright. 
So right now, all he really does is shoot a projectile. He could hit air. All he's really doing right now is, uh... He's doing 100k damage at level 0. At level 0, doing 100k damage. Now, there is one thing about this dude. He cannot be boosted. So, he can't be boosted with extra damage. He can't be boosted with attack, like extra attack speed or anything like that. Now, this guy, he could be boosted with extra damage and extra attack. As you can see right here. You can see he could be boosted with extra attack. Extra attack speed, extra range. The future Clockman cannot be boosted whatsoever. Unless, I mean, I guess lobby upgrades, you know. I mean, it says... Oh, well, that's just because he's being minus money. So as you see, all he really does right now is he shoots an orb at his hand. So now we're going to upgrade him again. Now he gets his nice clock aura in the back, I guess. Now he's doing 3,000... Oh, 350,000 damage. Critical damage... Times 1.5. Critical chance. 20%. So I'm guessing he could do like critical hits. Uh, so let's see. Oh, it's 20 seconds is cooldown. Uh, oh. Wait, who are you shooting at? Are you shooting at this guy? Look at that. one shot it. Well, that's because, I mean, the healths are not that good. So, obviously, his attack is not really that good right now. So, now we upgrade him to level... Oh, he, this was level 1. So, now we upgrade him to level 2. Now, Clock Blast. His Clock Blast now does... Well, the same amount of damage, I guess. Now, Serious Punch. I, I think that says five, 500, 500k. Yeah, 500k damage. Now, look at this. Wait, was that... Was that the... Oh, that was the charge clock blast. Oh, now it's a charge clock bat blast. Wait, can we see the serious punch? Come on, show us the serious punch. Come on. Oh, he doesn't have it yet. All right. So, now we upgrade him to level 3. Now this is the serious punch, I think, right here. So now serious punch, 500k damage still. Charge clock ba blast. My goodness, is now doing 750k damage. And his new ability after this upgrade is time slow. And I will show you what that thing looks like when we get to it. But now look at this, bang! Holy shit, he's doing like some Gojo shit. You know when Gojo does the song, no way anymore. You know, that's kind of like what it's doing technically. Except without the music and it's doing like some weird sound. Look at this. Oh my god, the effects. Oh, oh I love this game so much. Oh, and it does blast damage, by the way. As you could see from like this, whoever's in this area is technically getting hit. Now we upgrade him to level 4. And this is where he gets the time slow. Now look how he looks at the max level. Look at the effects. Look at everything. He is looking nice. Now, don't mind all those, you know, fucking green numbers in the bag. That's from the secret agent. Wait, did the secret agent could... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Why is he spawning all mafia bosses? What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Damn, secret agent. You're top tier right now? Like, hold on, I got a question. This has nothing to do with this, but what is like the highest, the highest health thing the secret agent could spawn? Is it like the huge, the big rocket toilets? Is it that? What's like the, can he, can the secret agent like, I don't think it can spawn like no like G-Man or like high end like toilets or anything like that, right? I don't know if it could. But anyways, now his Siri, oh, and uh. You could, obviously, you could hook him up to something to, uh, you know, want to skip time, you know, like the other, like the other clock units. You could click on this, click whatever tower you want to, you know, hook him up to, to his time skip. His time skip is 10 seconds. Oh, wait, no. 
That's a skip cooldown. Never mind. Time skip is 75 seconds. That's pretty decent, honestly. Wait, he has a time skip. This one has a time skip too. Hold on. His time skip is 26.5 seconds. So, you, I mean, obviously you could do the same thing with him. You could technically do the same the thing with every clock unit except for the clock time, of course. Um, his serious punch still is now doing, well, the same as last time. 750k damage. Critical damage is now times 5. 5 times. Critical chance, 10%. And his range, 200 meters. As you can see, that's probably the large ring outside. Is it? Or is, it's that, right? No, it's that. Wait, so what the fuck is this, like, small... Oh, that's his... Never mind. Hello? Can I not... My goodness, a fucking lag! Anyways. His charged clock blast is now doing a million... I think that's doing a million damage. Yeah, that's doing a million damage. Time slow... Now I'm just going to let the enemies come to you. Now here it is. The time slow. Now what I'm thinking this does is whoever is in that circle is going to get technically slow. So now, hold on, hold on, hold on. So pause. Because I have to actually put him in like over here so he could like. All right. So I am going to turn down my graphics because my computer is suffering horrible. So we are just going to fast forward. And we're going to see... Well, technically nothing is going to get to him. So we are going to put both of them down. And we're going to see them go to work. Now these right now, I think, are... Oh my, these units are fucking sick, dude. This game is doing so good. I love... Like, I, I can't say it enough. This game is so amazing. It deserves to have a lot more people than it, you know, does. I mean, the highest I've seen it been was like 10k once with an update, I think. If not, maybe almost 20. I don't really know yet. But right now, all it really gets to is 5, 6k. Pretty decent average players. But, like, the amount of time they have they put into, like, the effects on the towers, the animations, everything, like... This game deserves so much more love and so much more popularity. Now listen to some tunes. Man, fuck the lag, dude. Damn. Mm -mm 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 Oh my god, okay. So. Alright. So now we are just gonna let these guys go. We're gonna sell off the secret agent because he's kinda helping us out with the spawning of the enemies. We could sell the Gojos in the back now. So we're gonna let these guys go and you are going to... T uh, no, I have everything else. So as you can see, they are doing some insane shit. Now the only downfall about this is because he can hit air. So he's the only one that can hit air. So technically, when those claw do claw toilets come out, my, they are going to struggle. Now as you see right now, they are literally handling it easy peasy. I mean, of course, it, these guys are shooting at my farms. But yeah. But I do want to see something. So when I put this guy down, he buffs the damage of him. Now when you put down him, he is getting plus 20, 32 plus damage. I don't have the other Titan down. Or I don't have the Speaker Titan. Now. 265,000. Wow, it actually buffs it up a decent amount. It, it was at 225 and it went buffed up to 200... 200... 265. It actually buffs it a decent amount. Now, let's see how we do against the claw toilets. 
Why now there's only one? Oh, it's an enraged. Okay, so that's why it has so much health. So as you can see, they are doing a decent amount of damage. Well, technically the only one that could hit the fucking air is this guy. You know, it's just a sad thing is, you know, you can't, uh... You know, you can't, like, you know, time skip the clock unit, you know. Can't time skip him just to, you know, get to the... <laughs> so as you can see, he's gonna get through. Clock units, they're not really that, you know... By themselves, they're not good. They're more, they're more useful with other towers, in my eyes. The, uh, of course, the best one is obviously the Titan Clockman, and I am so excited to see what they're gonna add next for towers. What they're gonna bring to the game. Uh, I have some a lot of grinding to do for credits and clock coins. That's what AFK grinding is for, because you know. If you guys don't know, you can AFK grind credits and clock coins, but you can only do one at a time, but you know. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. That is really going to be it. Let's just put, let's just put Gojo out to just clear everything. You know, yeah, they nerfed Gojo, but I feel like he does more damage of... Yeah, that's what that move looks like. That big ass red thing. Look how why does that shit go so fast? Oh my god, Gojo, what the fuck did they do to you? Anyways. I like how he shot one more before he uh, left. So these are the both of the clock units. On oh my god, look at that stance. That looks sick. You know, I wonder if they're going to add, because you know he has, um, he has, uh, doesn't he have like a clock mech or something? I wonder if they're going to add that. And I, I don't know if there's a thing, but I know like Toilet Tower Defense added like a golden future clock. And I don't know if like, is there like an actual thing in like the series of, uh, what is it? Is it the multiverse? Is it? I don't know if that one has like a gold, like a golden, but I, I, I think it's only what the the future clock then, right? I don't know. But with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Oh my god, let me turn down the fucking graphics because my game is dying. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. That is the Guardian Large Clockman and the Future Clockman. Those are the two towers. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to this channel. Feel free to subscribe if you want. And if you do like what you see, or if you did like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. And if you did like, if you do like what you see on the channel, can you, I can't fucking talk. If you do like what you see on the channel, subscribe. With that being said, that's going to be it. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Which I don't know what it will be yet. It depends on, you know, like if games update or if I end up finding, you know, a new game to like try out for a video to see how it does. Um, yeah, if this game ends up updating, then it'll probably be something on the Skibbity Defense update. And if it doesn't update, then it'll probably be on the, you know, the chart, the, what is it? Supercharged Speaker Titan and the Astro, you know, because I still haven't did, done the video on those and those came out like three updates ago or two updates ago. I don't know, but. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.